I think she really likes it. Unpredictable. No issues. Do a kickflip. I will, dude. It's coming. <laughs> That's right. Oh! I love skateboarding. I love it just as much as I love video games. Hell, I love skateboarding almost as much as I love my own son. And that's why I'm losing my mind over Skate 4. Rarely do two of my absolute favorite things in life combine like this. And since my son sucks ass at skateboarding... You wanna pop it and then slide. You wanna... just... My hopes for Skate 4 are pretty high. But do you see these guys? Their heads aren't in the game on this thing. Look at them. They've probably been shell-shocked into submission by their overlords at EA. You guys, you know, were so positive about it, and EA eventually said to give it to them, and then just come on. about Full Circle, our studio, making it. Yeah. Izzy's head's in the way. <laughs> yeah, hey Dan, sorry. Uh, Izzy's massive fucking head's in the way, so. Yeah, I, her name's Isabel. I call her Izzy. She, uh, she asked me not to, but, you know, I think she really likes it. Izzy, if you could just, like, scrunch, maybe, like, like scrunch down a little. Actually, you know what? Maybe if you went and sat over there by Brendan or Bra Brandon or Brad or whatever, that guy's name is. You think any of them could muster up the grace, the energy, the determination to pull off a kickflip? I fucking doubt it. So why would you expect them to pull off the impossible, making a good and true sequel to Skate 3? You see, I'm going to make my own Skate 4 in a week, and it'll be better than anything a team of hundreds of animators and programmers and artists with access to millions in funding could ever come up with. <laughs> So I loaded up Unity Hub, and I named my project what the new skate should have been named all along. I started off by modeling a skateboard in Blender. And then I decided to take a quick break for research purposes. How the fuck does COVID take forever? My bad, bro. Oh. Now that I had acquired the proper knowledge and fucked up my shins, I jumped back into the project, added my skateboard into Unity with no issues. No, I don't think that's right. It's got full, full skateboard physics. That's what you've been doing this whole time, just making it be able to fall. Do a kickflip. I will, dude, it's coming. Do it right now. I whipped up a simple pushing and turning system, and then I got to work on the foundation of everything skateboarding. The Ollie. Sprinkle some ones here, some zeros there, and behold. All right, hang on a minute. Let me just, uh, there. Oh, what in the. I need to mimic the downward force of the back foot and board to the stop or sliding up the board. Okay, so I have a force point here, here and one player here. control to lay the slides. Downward force, the player control to lay the slides. Boom! Perfect Ollie. First try, baby. Now let me just pause for a second here. These early struggles of using physics to implement, you know, the most basic of skateboarding mechanics probably should have been an indicator of the struggle ahead. See, the developers of Skate knew that controlling the actual skateboard itself with physics would be... unpredictable. So, they only use physics for your momentum and ragdolls and stuff like that, and they use animation for everything else. I knew this from the beginning, of course, but you guys didn't click on this video to see me meticulously craft a bunch of animations. Okay, no, we're, we're making a skate game here. We're making it with physics, baby! So I quickly threw together some starter obstacles and began to refine the camera, controls, and physics. Now, the internet isn't exactly brimming with examples of programming skateboarding, so I was pretty much on my own as far as solving problems. I had no fucking idea what I was doing for 99% of this project, but what I lacked in advanced education, I made up for 
in persistence and charm. That last one isn't applicable to the project, I just thought I'd mention it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Since the pushing, steering, and ollie were working perfect, I decided to replace this old beta male skate park with a new big dick skate park, the likes of which Nija's never seen. Hey, you know what else Nija's never seen before? A gold medal. Thanks for letting all of America down. Ah, whatever, it doesn't matter. All anyone remembers from the Olympic skateboarding anyway is this. All right, here I am modeling the skate park. It may seem like I'm doing this extremely fast, but uh, the video's actually sped up. After I finished the park model, I tossed it into Unity, and I started skating around. And all I could think about was that big, beautiful rail. So I got to work on a grinding and sliding system for the game. Now, I had no idea how to actually implement a grinding system for this game. So like everything I do, instead of planning out and brainstorming ideas, I just started writing shit. Babe, are you coming to bed soon? 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 Huh. All right. Let's give this some more testing. All right. It's pretty good. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm trying to program something, my brain essentially becomes consumed by the thing I'm trying to achieve, and I can't really focus on anything else until I finish what I set out to do. I'm not only an artist by trade and not a programmer, I'm also an idiot. So by this point, three days had passed and I had encountered basically every kind of issue possible. So here's some of the best bits from that. But after the dust settled, I had a stable, functioning grind and slide system and a mildly annoyed wife. Not only that, but I handled absolutely everything through code. I mean, for the first time ever, I had written every single script without the help of anyone else. Just look at that. Get that shit out of here. Nobody cares about that. That's boring nerd shit. No, in all seriousness, if you want to see the code, here it is. Oh, 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 and it's gone. Sorry about that. So uh, now that it's all tidied up, it was time to move on to the final and most important part of a skateboarding game. Dude, I thought you could. I thought you could do a kickflip. I can. I did one this morning. The last piece of the puzzle. After this, I couldn't think of a single thing I'd be missing in a completed skateboarding game. Alright, there's a ton of shit missing, but I gave myself a week for this project, and at this point I was on day six. Fortunately, adding kickflips and heel flips into the game was pretty easy. Once they were in, I used the remainder of my time to solve a few bugs, add some sounds, flesh out the models a little bit, slap some textures in, throw in a little lighting, and boom! We had a finished game.
And there you have it. I glossed over a whole bunch of shit that I had to do for this game, but that was just to keep your little Adderall-riddled ADHD brains focused on this video. If you want to download this game, you can find it in the description. Warning. This game was made in one week, and as a result has many weird as shit bugs and glitches. This game only works with a controller. Play at your own discretion. If you like this video, remember to subscribe. So yeah, in conclusion, EA is going to blow it. See ya.